The internet is not the only avenue that criminals use to prey on potential victims. Our following case tells of an increasingly rampant lottery scam that entices victims through text messages on mobile phones. It was 2 a.m. Rashima had just gotten home from work when she received a text message. It was from an Indonesian number. Believing that she had struck a windfall, Rashima immediately called the number in the text message as instructed. Hello. Uh, hello. Um, saya berterima SMS yang saya menang. Oh ya, benar sekali. Ah, tanya. Saya Abdul Rahman. Ah, seperti yang kami maklumkan di SMS itu, anda terpilih sebagai pemenang singkat dan hadiahnya 10,000 dolar Singapura. Um, jadi apa yang harus saya lakukan sekarang ni? Okey. Oleh kerana anda pemenang kami, anda juga berpeluang memenangi hadiah lumayan dari kami. Sebuah kereta Mercedes-Benz. Ya ke? Uh, jadi apa yang harus saya lakukan? Ah, mudah sekali. Buat pergi sembarang kedai Singtel, beli lima kad simpati Indonesia dan beri kami PIN nama ini. Uh, nanti sekejap eh. Okay. Rashima was also given another Indonesian phone number. She was to get in touch with a person known as Haji M. Noor after she had bought the same prepaid mobile SIM cards. Okay, thank you very much. Sir. Convinced that she stood a chance in winning the grand prize, Rashima called Haji M. Noor as soon as she had the PIN numbers. Hello? Hello? Uh, ni Haji Noor ya? Ya, kamu siapa? Oh, saya Rashima. Uh, Adul Rahman suruh saya telefon selepas saya beli kad simpati tu. Unfortunately, Rashima didn't suspect the PIN numbers from the SIM cards were only part of a ploy to cheat her off her money. Wan Rashima, awak memang wanita yang amat bertuah. Nombor SIM card yang terakhir itulah nombor bertuah. Nombor anda lan. Tanya. Anda telah memenangi hadiah pertama kami, satu kereta Mercedes-Benz. Betul ke? Macam saya tak percayalah. Saya dah menang satu kereta. Tapi kan, um, saya tak ada lesen memandu lah. Tapi kalau enggak ada lesen mandu pun, usah bimbang. Bisa beres, enggak ada masalah. Kami bisa tukarkan hadiah itu pada wang tunai juga. Tapi agak-agaknya dalam jumlah wang tunai ini berapa? Hanya wang anda jumlahnya 70,000 dolar Singapura. Rashima, kami perlu... Besides providing them with her bank account information, Rashima was also asked to pay a transfer fee of 550 Singapore dollars to have her prize money transferred to her bank account. Rashima unsuspectingly did as she was told. Hello, Pak Haji. Saya baru buat uh, wang peminahan lima ratus dolar tu. Uh, jadi bila saya boleh dapat wang hadiah tu ya? Oh, uh, maaf ya Pak Rasma. Saya enggak beritahu Puan tadi yang Puan perlu bayar processing fee sebanyak satu ribu dolar. Jurus setelah membayarnya, Puan boleh dapatkan wang itu dengan segera. Oh, satu ribu dolar? Tu banyak tu. Tidak perlu bimbang. Selepas bayar processing fee itu. Puan akan terima wang hadiah itu dengan cepat sekali. Okey, jadi um, saya harus hantarkan lagi satu ribu dolar, ya? Ya, Puan. Rashima was given another name and account number for the remittance of the one thousand dollars. That wasn't the end. Very soon, Rashima was asked to remit another seven hundred dollars to speed up the transfer of her prize money. Tapi saya kan dah bayar seribu lima ratus lima puluh dolar. Kalau awak suruh saya bayar lagi tujuh ratus, saya tak mampu lah. Tapi saya masih boleh dapatkan hadiah tu tak? Sudah pasti, Puan. Tapi itu mungkin akan makan masa yang lebih panjang, Puan. Tapi itu bukan apa yang awak janjikan tadi pagi tau. Saya tak tahulah. Boleh tak saya fikirkan dulu dan saya telefon awak balik? Ya. This time, however, Rashima did not remit the money. But she kept receiving calls asking her to send the money. It finally dawned upon her that she was a victim of a lottery scam. Rashima filed a police report. 
I want to make a police report. I think I've been cheated. Bashima is not the only victim who has fallen prey to such lottery scams. Over the first 10 months of this year, victims lost a total of 3.2 million in lottery scams, an increase from 2.6 for 2009. To avoid falling prey to such scams, ignore notifications of a win in a lottery or lucky draw if you have not purchased any lottery ticket or participated in any lucky draw. Do not make any advance payment to claim any prize money. Winning a lucky draw or lottery does not require you to make any advance payment. Do not entertain such SMSs and calls. Be wary of get-rich-quick offers. If an offer sounds too good to be true, it's probably a scam. Scams come in various forms and the modus operandi change over time. Besides cyber and lottery scams, kidnap and impersonation scams are also common. For more information on preventive measures against the various scams, do check out the following website. Anyone who has more information relating to these scams or encounter similar incidents may call the police hotline at 1-800-255-0000. New Year this holiday season, do keep in mind that this is also the time when the risk of becoming a victim of crime is higher. We would like to remind all viewers to remain vigilant and to adopt the following crime prevention measures. When you are out shopping or at crowded areas, never leave your valuables unattended as these would be easy targets for thieves. Do not be distracted by strangers creating a commotion, bumping into you or accidentally spilling something onto you. Check your valuables immediately if this happens. Avoid carrying large amounts of cash with you. Avoid exposing cash, jewellery and valuables in public places as this might attract unnecessary attention. Ensure that your bag is secured at all times. If you're carrying a handbag, cross link it in front of you or clap it firmly while you're walking. Remember, crime prevention is a shared responsibility. Do your part by staying vigilant and alert. This is Rebecca Lin wishing all of you happy holidays and a happy new year. No crime doesn't mean no crime. Let's gear up our crime prevention efforts this festive season. Well, we have come to the final episode of Crime Watch for this year. And to close, we have a special contest lined up with attractive dining vouchers. For more information, visit the NCPC website. Finally, if you have any feedback, drop us an email. This is ASP Jessica wishing you Happy Holidays and a Happy New Year.